Stop being a dumbass. I want to beat out my rival in a fair fight. I'll be damned if I'm going to battle with somebody who's not playing by the rules. You're a liar. You're a cheat. Be a man and own your right here and now. At least you can do that. Then you're out of your mind. After reviewing your designs, I've decided that the two artists that will be tattooing me will be... Tattoo Baby with her coffin design, and Jason with his planchette design. All right. I'm tattooing Dave freaking Navarro. Congratulations, guys. This is cool, but if I screw this up right now, I'm getting sent double time out of here. You will both have 90 minutes to tattoo me at the same time. The judges will then determine a winner based on the best execution of dimension in your tattoos. Good luck and get your machines. It's gonna be a long hour and a half, Dave. Don't mess up. I thought we were gonna be in a private location. Yeah, those lines will straighten up over time. I swear to God, I'll knock your teeth out. They look great. It looks great. Now I got all the artists circling me like sharks, just waiting for me to up. I'm trying to smooth these out. My plan is to take this simple planchette, add a little bit of a dip in the shading, and add a little shading to this eyeball to make it look three-dimensional. Jason, very limited color palette, but you were still able to show a dimension with the little bevel that you put on the edge of the wood carving. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is Jason. Jason noticed that I wear a little planchette around my neck, and he made a design that instantly appealed to me. It's a pretty badass looking piece. You will have the power to assign all human canvases for the elimination tattoo. I'm ready to kick some ass now. Everybody thinks they're a badass. Get ready for a challenge. I'm getting ready to stir up the pot. This week, we're testing dimension. Dimension shows depth, and you can actually make something stand out on the skin. For this challenge, you must tattoo something so recognizable that any error will be obvious. Landmarks. Holy <laughs> Landmark tattoos, they're tough. There's lots of little details. You want people to be able to recognize what it is, or you drop the ball. Jason, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases. Be ruthless. I'm gunning for everybody because I think you all need to get challenged and maybe end up in the bottom like I did and feel that pain. I want the Statue of Liberty on my forearm. OK. I'm going to get the Roman Coliseum on my back. Holy I don't care what canvas I get because anything that's realism is right up my alley. I want the Grand Canyon. That's a big hole. I'm probably going to piss everybody off, but I don't care. Statue of Liberty. But other than that, they're all difficult. Yeah. Joshua. Do you think that you were given this canvas by Jason intentionally? I mean, the whole group's kind of sat down and said, oh, yeah, it's now a game of giving Josh whatever we don't understand. So I've kind of slipped into that role of being the bad guy. The difference here, bro, is I want a healthy competition. I'm just trying to stir the pot. You, on the other hand, do out of malicious intent. So now you see what I've been dealing with. This is probably the best canvas for you. It was one of the most outline intensive designs. You've shown your strength in outlining throughout this competition, but where's the contrast? Where's the dark shadow? Where's the depth? You've got a lot of solid area of this light gray color. You don't have any shading. You miss the mark of the day, which is dimension. Jason. I feel like you got a little bit smoother here than we've seen you in the past. But the big thing that bugs me about this tattoo is there's a couple areas on the photo where it goes to solid black, like the back of her hair, underneath her hand on the tablet, the arm that's outreached with the torch. If you would have copied those solid black areas, it would have helped give this thing the dimension it was looking for. I didn't want it to end up too solid and too light. Using all the different tones of gray and not committing to the black in this particular tattoo actually hurt you. Better play this skulls right. Point blank. If it's screwing people over, oh well. Make it hard, man. You know what I mean? If somebody like Craig can go home early, why not knock off another one?
I need every advantage I can at this point. Hey, I'll even take Joshua's help because I need to get ahead in the game. I'm going for Jimmy and Joey. The top dogs, if I was handing out skulls, I would do the same exact thing. They already hate you, oh well. They have like the biggest egos where they think they're ex just expected to win. Jimmy the princess, as soon as he didn't win, he was like all butt hurt, like, oh, that's so up and unfair. Jimmy will bitch no matter what you give him. That's what princesses do. But I say, hey man, let's challenge him. Jackie and Jason are encouraging me to go after the stronger people, and I'm saying that I'm gonna do that just because I don't want to tell them my game plan. Part of my strategy is not letting people know what my strategy is. Underdogs unite. Underdogs unite. This week, we're testing consistency. Consistency is being able to show pretty much the same thing over and over again. There's no better test of consistency than an image so iconic that any inconsistency will be obvious. Comic book characters. Yes. The challenges of pulling off comic book tattoo are making it as direct to the comic character at hand. People that are comic nerds, which I say that proudly, they know when something's off. Go ahead and assign the skulls. I'm trying to make sure that nobody except for me gets an easy day. I know exactly what their weaknesses are. I definitely am playing the mental game hard right now. Anya, Catwoman. I'm Claudia, and this is Poison Ivy. I definitely want the Poison Ivy. Here's the magical question at hand. Is Joshua going to look out for us underdogs, or is he going to pull some other bull I'm Amelia, and this is Dark Side. And how big do you want it? I prefer the whole calf. She wants the biggest one on her calf. If Joshua screws me, the that kid. I'm wearing his tattoo. He's wearing mine. We've been iffy before. It's very possible he'll screw me. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Joshua. People come to me from all around the world to get portraits done. It's definitely my specialty, and I'm super excited to be able to show what I can do. Joey. Yes. Jimmy. Good looking, Josh. Turns out he pulled some bull Come on, Joey's going to kill anything that has to do with a cool pinup, and so is Jimmy. What the hell are you thinking, Joshua? Jason. It's obvious at this point that Joshua's gunning for myself and Jackie. Joshua's full of You're playing a stupid game. You're getting ready to lose yourself, idiot. This is what I'm booked out for months and months and months doing is these beautiful portraits. I really want to show the intensity of this image and the character of Bane. I'm just excited to show something that I'm really, really comfortable with. This thing's going to look awesome. They're all going to be shocked when I win. What Joshua is doing, it's more to the realistic side. This is a comic book challenge. If something looks too realistic, you automatically deserve to be in the bottom. Anything realistic, you know? I love it. Jason. This is probably the cleanest tattoo we've seen from you. There's a lot of great consistencies in this tattoo that we've seen lacking in your other tattoos. I'm starting to feel the flow here and feel a little bit more comfortable getting rid of some of my anxieties when I'm tattooing. I'm the opposite of Ollie. Your saturation, color-wise, does not stack up. These transitions from the blacks to the blues and the very washed-out orange do not do it for me. I always think that there's room for improvement in every tattoo. Your consistency in your application is not going to stack up against these guys today. Joshua. You had the advantage. What was your strategy in terms of handing out the skulls? Well, there's definitely been a lot of talk about the uh, low-hanging fruit in the competition, and I just wanted to shake the tree. Josh is the lowest hanging fruit we got. Get him, Proving Kyle. that time and time again. If you're playing the game like he's been claiming the whole time, why would you give some of the strongest guys, right after a pinup challenge, two hot chicks to tattoo? Go after the top, I think. I just wanted to see those guys have a good day. That's a bull move, dude. You want to get on their good side, hoping that they won't screw you when the time is right for you to get screwed, dude. That's not going to happen, bro. I feel badly about everything everybody feeling so angry. I hope people can drop their personal feelings and, and move on to just competing with their artwork. That's bull Josh. All right, guys, let's move into your tattoo. Seems like you've embodied your character in this competition. It's good for the supervillain to come out and pound one back at the heroes. Whether they like you or not, they got to suck it up and beat it. It's a really nice job. Overall, this being DC comic challenge, I think you really captured the essence of this character. This smooth shading, all that black and all that deep shadowing that gives the shape of the wrinkles in his forehead, very consistent. If you can do that's this complex and make it look this good, then why are you lagging? You should be able to do this quality on everything all the time. Thank you. Today, you had to tattoo a subject intimidating for even the best tattoo artists. A portrait. Jason, you're up first. Was it nerve-wracking to have 
the subject of your portrait sitting in the room with you as you were? It's a little threatening because yeah. you're standing right there. Yeah. This is testing every one of my panic disorder buttons. Overall, man, you did do some neat tricks to get some detail in there. The mustache and the beard, the detail is very nice. The mouth, you captured the little smirk. There's a couple spots you lost me on accuracy. Just the shape of his hair, the way it goes onto his shoulder, it doesn't have the same shape. But accuracy in the glasses, that's the big fudge on this thing. It looks like you kept trying to sculpt it and sculpt it, and you ended up changing the shape of the glasses. Tried to put white in there, and then I noticed that it was thickening up. This was the tattoo that needed the most accuracy because there were so many different textures. If you can't nail each texture, then it shows up a lot. It just threw it off. Joshua. Were there any challenges with this canvas? She has all those wrinkles. For me, it was how do I show the main ones without throwing a spider web across her face? I really like this tattoo. She's got a great character. You took liberties to smooth things out, but you still captured her essence. Technically, man, you have a very nicely executed tattoo. The thing that is a bummer is I just wish this tattoo went a little further down. Some of the aspects of the photo that make her face come alive is the fact that her hair comes a little bit longer and you see these shadows that come up here that really define the length of her face. There really was no other place other maybe than his ribs and I was not wanting to do another rib piece. You could have just faded hair down a little longer just to give that neck a little bit more neck. But definitely portrait challenge is your forte. I must say, Josh, I'm amazed that you got such a good critique. It's a good thing you're not a judge. I didn't care for the neck on it. Dude, the way you do that shading underneath there, and I hate to disrespect somebody's mother, but it looked like she was crowning, dude, like coming out of somebody's. There's yeah. tons of things are wrong with that. I mean, I have a whole lot of stuff I could say about all your guys' stuff, too, but that's just not. <laughs> that's not you, is it? No, it's not. Right on, I know. You're just the persecuted one in this house. For absolutely no reason, 15 people come together to persecute Josh. Everybody's still attacking me because I am technically the most proficient artist in this competition. They're threatened that I am going to win this. Jimmy, Jason, Kyle, the three of you were slightly off. And any one of you could justifiably be sent home. You didn't do a horrible tattoo, but when we line it up against everybody else's and look at the accuracy of all these things, the ear, the hair, the glasses, it's those details that are wrong. The damn stencil just didn't come out strong enough. Overall, man, we can't overlook these mistakes when we're judging accuracy. The judges have decided. Jason, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Honestly, this was a tough decision. It was not just based on today's tattoo. It was based on the entire competition. Please pack your machines and close shop. The judges made the wrong decision. I know I have what it takes to be Ink Master and be in this game. I shouldn't be going home. Season three ignited one of the most infamous rivalries in Ink Master history. You're in this game to trip every mother here. I'm here to win in any way I can. Don't flip flop mother They're back again to battle it out. Joshua Hibbard and Jason Clay Dunn. Last time we competed, Jason spent every second that he could talking about me and my artwork, and I'm here to show him that I'm way better than him. I specialize in doing incredibly realistic detail tattoos. Josh is a lying little weasel. He'll do anything it takes to win. I'm not like that. I'm gonna win because I'm a well-rounded, awesome artist. Welcome back, gentlemen. For your first elimination tattoo, the person you hate the most is the one person you need the most. Because today, you must tattoo with your rival. And you will be judged as a team. <sighs> we got 20 minutes. What are you asking me? Let's go back to... I mean, I could do some white, but I got to do no, that purple No, do that still. purple first. Josh and I are actually working together here. We don't have time to talk to each other. Oh, I, did, I missed a spot. Fill in that little spot in the middle. That's the one I missed. The game is on now, and we need to get busy. The color saturation, the outline, and the way you made the tattoo breathable stands out. Very beautifully drawn. This thing is technically sound. You gave us something right off the bat that's gonna set the bar for everybody else. Good job. Thank you. Get a nice tattoo. Thank you. Yeah, now you have the advantage. Feels good. I've been living in people's shadow, and now I got to hand out skulls. I have a few ideas in my head how I want to play it. But let's talk about the big problem here, Josh and Clean. What are we gonna do with them? I just want to knock them down a peg. 
Well, here's a suggestion about Josh. He doesn't draw very well. He knows it, he doesn't. Wait, you're telling me a tattoo artist I can't draw? This is a competition. Draw your own goddamn tattoos. I mean, just out of principle, that annoys the crap out of me. I sure would like to see him get school on that. It could twist this competition in a really good way if you were to make sure that you dial him in. Today, you must tattoo Japanese geishas. Yeah. All right. Japanese work is what I do for a living every day. This is my passion. I need to bring it on this one, and I can't wait. Eric, you won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases. I'm gunning for Josh because I want to see if you could actually draw. If you can't, then you're not an ink master. What's your idea? Full body geisha with Koi swimming around her. I'm the one to beat. If Eric does not gun for me in this skull pick today, he's an idiot. You looked right in my eyes right now. Oh, keep gunning for you. It don't matter. I got it. There you go. Thank you. Canvases, one by one, please read the name on the bottom of your skull. Two people want a tattoo on the ribs. No ribs. No ribs. That's just asking to be sent home. Josh? Eric can waste as many of those skulls as he wants on me, because they're always going to blow up in his face. Whatever. I got this. All right, so you want to get what part of your body done? On my ribs on this side. I am absolutely not going to be doing a rib tattoo today. The only issue with the side is the time. Whatever I would normally be able to get done to say on your arm, I can do about half of that on your side. I can sell ice to a penguin. I know that I can change the canvas's mind. Like yeah. on my thighs right something here? Something that sit here or something that would sit here. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really nice. Yeah, I could do that. OK. Yeah, man, that looks freaking awesome. This tattoo's turning out exactly how I planned. I'm so ecstatic, I'd wear this myself in a heartbeat. I am here to prove to the world and everybody in this competition that I'm an amazing Japanese-style tattoo artist, and I better take this one home. Looks good, dude. The only one I see right now is right, right there, and then right where? this right where that almost meets the face. Really, is Josh going to come over and try to give me advice on Japanese challenge day? I think not. I've got this covered, buddy. Thanks, but no thanks. I haven't studied traditional Japanese tattoos as much as I'd like to, so I'm going to do what my strong point is here and go with the realism. I feel like this is going to set me apart from the rest of the group, and when I beat Jason at what he does every day, he's going to look like a fool. Josh. Super smooth tattoo, as close to flawless outline as you can get. Vibrant colors, flower really pops. It's technically solid, but your background versus your foreground, it's just all clashing. When it comes to doing something that flows, that has a natural rhythm within the composition, you're way off. Jason. Your composition on this tattoo, very simple. This has got that classic look. That plain face just lends itself to a thing of beauty as it is. The pattern work plays very well. One of the nicest patterns of the day. It's definitely my favorite tattoo I've ever seen you do. So now it's time to poll the judges and determine tattoo of the day. Clean, beautiful tattoo, great execution. Jason hit the mark on the composition, application, and the geisha. Hands down, for me, Jason took this one. Oliver, final decision. Jason. I'm going with clean. Jason. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Yeah. Finally, finally. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Today, once again, every canvas wants the same subject matter as one other canvas. That means you'll all be going head to head with one other artist. One of you will win, but one of you will lose. Rocious grizzly bear on my ribs. <laughs> bear and ribs in the same sentence? Oh, this is too good. I already know exactly where that's going. Bear rib pitch. He's gonna be giving it to me. No ribs. Josh. That's a good pick. I don't give a I'll do that on his ribs. I'm gonna crush Josh in this. I don't think he stands a chance. Normally, would try to talk you out of doing ribs. I get another rib tattoo. I don't really give a If 
if I can't do a six hour badass bear on your ribs, then I shouldn't be here. Let's do it. They're definitely wasting a hard skull on me. Right here. Yeah. They should just give it to somebody else, then watch them fall on their face. Yeah. You ready? Putting me and clean together is gonna be like the ultimate showdown. It's two top runners in this competition, and I'm gonna nail it. Oh boy, kind of a tough place to tattoo it. Cause it's just so big. Um, if you had another place that we could put it, where would you consider? Hey Josh, you're not changing the location I'm of that tattoo, about it. are you? He just lost like 70 pounds. His skin is really loose. It is not a good idea for me to tattoo this area on his body. I'm watching this trickery go down right here. He's trying to convince his canvas to get it somewhere easier to tattoo. I don't mind it here on this leg. I thought he wanted it on his ribs. Yeah, right? And it's way harder to tattoo on the ribs. That's you're witnessing this right here. It's not gonna change the way the tattoo looks. Yep. This guy is the master of getting stuff out of the ribs. I'm telling you, Josh is a schemey little worm. What if it was here? Oh yeah, put it in a real easy spot. Dude, it's a 13 hour tattoo, man. Why don't you make it a six hour tattoo? Because then it won't be as good as the 13 hour tattoo. Oh, is that right? Schemey little bastard. Oh my God. That's wild, man. I didn't know if the oh my god was good or bad. No, nah, man, that's crazy. That's incredible. Why would you put a mushroom cloud with an animal tattoo? It just doesn't make sense. It's perfect. Josh made the stupidest decision ever. I don't think this guy's got an original bone in his body. Josh, you chose skull number one. You're up first. Which canvas do you choose? My rival's canvas, Jason, the ship. I love shutting Jason up and showing him that I am a better artist. How you doing over there, Josh? You getting it together? It's happening, man. You don't have a choice, right? That one took me down to the wire yesterday. Jason should definitely be worried. I can just take what he did, see the mistakes, and improve upon those. Going against me, he doesn't have a chance. Let's take a look at the next tattoo, Jason and Josh. All right, Jason, the problem I have with this tattoo is the roses. No skin to breathe, no highlights, just oversaturated with too many of the same tones of color. That's technical application, and it's off big time. Let's move along to Josh. You took a lot of the mistakes in Jason's drawing and fixed them. You attached the forward sails in the correct manner. Leaving the open color in the roses lets each rose stand apart. I like it. Final decision. I'm gonna go with Josh. Josh. Congratulations, man. I have the absolute chance of being in the finale. I feel like Clean's proved himself so far to be in the finale. I feel like you two have yet to battle it out to see who the f is gonna be the third. Cocky mother. Just be a little bit more humble. I'm just tired of your cocky attitude. You can be tired of whatever you want. All you have to do is tattoo and win and earn your way to the top. Hey, Josh, guess what? You. You'll be going head to head on the same canvas at the same time. What? Because you must create interlocking tattoos. This is crazy. I've never done anything like this. Each of you must tattoo one of your canvas's forearms. Not only must each forearm stand alone as a complete piece, but both tattoos must seamlessly connect to create one larger, impressive image. What the hell? You have to adapt to the canvas's needs, adapt in the drawing styles, adapt in the fact that these have to form together. This is just a cluster of all kinds of adaptability. One snake on each arm, whenever I put four arms together, it'll wrap up. My canvas wants a interlocking tattoo of a snake, but because of the way he wants it, it's not reasonable to do. Do you have any other ideas? I'm gonna do something that works best for me and lead us into a situation that's gonna be beneficial for this tattoo. Maybe like angel type thing on one side and then like a demon on the other. Yeah. What do you think? It's awesome, man, good job. Chris, who doesn't even do Japanese, did a way better tattoo than Jason. It's obvious that his anxiety is getting to him again. He's slipping. He's definitely not performing at the level that he thinks that he can. You want to be Ink Master? Not going to happen this way, buddy. We're the only ones with rivals left. I don't know if you feel like your rival's any sort of a challenge to you. Well, the whole thing is he's not, but I definitely want to shut him up. And now you have the skull pick, so I think it might be time for that to happen. I've been head to head with Jason a few times, and I pretty much know how that goes. I would like to settle my rivalry with Jason just because he's talking a lot of to me right now. Always says he's a better artist than me and all this and he just hasn't shown it yet. And I would love to put him in his place. 
I hope that I get another chance to go up against Jason so I can beat his ass. As far as who's been winning, I think it's you, me, and Clean. That's what I'm thinking. And that's kind of who I see in the finale. Yep. Today, you must tattoo one of the most sensitive areas of the body. The spine. I know that's bad. Place hurts. Yes, it does. Getting your spine tattooed is insanely painful. There's a big fear that these people are not gonna be able to sit for this. Do you know how big you wanna go with this? Well, I have my last name across my back, so whatever you can get done. My canvas already has existing tattoos on his back. We're gonna put it underneath your name then, basically, yep. right? That only leaves me like six inches of space to put this big ass giant monument on his upper spine. The amount of detail is the issue. You just wanna do like the top part. Yeah, I don't want it to look like I just have some random building on my back. This is the last thing I need when I'm going head to head with Josh. Ready to rock it out. Last time I competed, the judges made the wrong decision. I shouldn't have been eliminated, and I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen again. I have worked so hard to come here to claim my title as Ink Master. You have gentle hands. I'm hoping that's the first time another guy said that to you. <laughs> Only people I tattoo. I'm the front runner. I'm the person to beat. That's sick, man. Jason, this tattoo sucks. The lines are crooked, and to put the spire up in the middle of this letter was probably the biggest mistake you've made this entire competition. It's just a fail. What do we do now? I'm just getting madder and madder. If you go into a competition and there's certain rules set forth, if one person breaks them, that one person should be penalized. And in this case, I believe it's Josh. There's no realm in this universe that this is okay, that we should just all play this fair, honorable competition with someone that has no regard for anybody else. Josh has been busted for smoking weed to handle his anxiety. If you can't handle the pressure, you shouldn't be in a competition. You don't bring here, you don't want to be seen. Especially if it's against the competition guidelines. He just ruined himself. I can't stand by anything he's done. I can't do it. I'm just happy I'm not the only one that feels this way. All of us have been stressed and all of us have anxiety. If you can't handle it, you shouldn't be here. It's nothing more than just super disrespectful. Yeah, it's it just, it's demeans just everybody's respect for your competitors. Everybody involved. It doesn't matter to me what Josh is smoking or not smoking. That's his personal preference. But in this competition, you don't break rules, period. It'd be smart he's packing now. Everybody's got a problem. Josh has been smoking pot, cheating the competition. He basically just gave us a finger. The best thing he could ever do is just own up to it and just be like, yeah, I did it, I f***ed up. You I know mean, what I mean? I'm, like, I'm beyond pissed, and I wanted to say that. I would love to be part of this conversation since it's about me. Basically, everybody feels kind of cheated. From my perspective, I didn't know that it would be such a big deal. OK. I didn't realize anybody would feel I, that. I'm actually flabbergasted that you would say that. Stop being a dumbass. I want to beat out my rival in a fair fight. I'll be damned if I'm going to battle with somebody who's not playing by the rules. You're a liar. You're a cheat. Be a man and own your right here and now. At least you can do that. Then you're out of your mind. I can't help you anymore. I don't need your help, and I never did. I, I helped you by not beating your head in the wall. That's how I helped you out, punk bitch. do it to hurt anybody. I didn't get an advantage from it. I'm standing my ground. I still want to continue to compete. I've earned the right to be here with my tattoos. I've busted my ass. Jason, you went up against Josh. As far as the Empire State Building itself goes, when you have this close of an image of it, those lines have to be exactly parallel in order to really create that structure. And at the top of this thing, before you get to that needle, those lines are a little bit wobbly. Putting a needle through the letter was a bad idea. His name has got to be more important to him than this needle, and you should not change the shape of that letter. That was not my intentions. My intentions were to not blow up that building so damn big. Any which way your intentions were, it changed the eye to anything else but that. You can't change the shape of somebody's letter, their tattoo, well, regardless of what it is. either, Chris. If you would have put that thing any lower with the concave of his back, then your building would have went like that. I don't think there's that many tattooers in the building that would have run a needle through a letter. And everybody behind you is shaking their head no. Josh. You were dealt the same hand as Jason was. 
What was your plan here? He's a huge dude, and because of the size I was back and because of the concave, I had to do a lot of straightening of lines while I was tattooing. Obviously, these long lines on this curvature of the body, you're gonna have some warped areas, but overall, it's very clean. Technically, it's a strong tattoo. It really does have a striking image. It's bold. This was the hardest tattoo of the day by far. I think you did a good job for what you were given. Time to pull the judges between Josh and Jason. It's a clear-cut decision here. I mean, one of them stands out and looks strong and technically precise, and the other one has a lot of problems in it. I'm gonna go with Josh as well. Josh. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Excuse me, can I, can I speak? I was confronted by my fellow artists. It is a breach of the rules. It was the wrong thing to do. I mean, if I signed a contract stating I couldn't drink coffee while I was here, well then, I'd be damned if I'm even gonna have a sip because that's the rules, bottom line. I had no intention of disrespecting this competition. If there's any way that the people that I'm competing against could look past it, forgive me and let me continue to compete. This is nothing to do on this side. We literally look at tattoos. Whatever comes down, comes down. That's out of our hands. I just want to see I'm sorry. I just really want you to know that I'm truly sorry. And I did not intend to be unfair. I'm not falling for any it's of that. It's a situation. I don't want to be in the situation. You did this to yourself. I realize that. The situation is nobody likes a liar or a cheat. Well, that's why I stood up today and put it out on the table. Like, out of respect for all of us, you should just pack it and get the out. I do hope they can come up with a consequence. What's the consequence going to be? Oh, you don't get any ice cream before bed. I don't care. I just want to continue to compete. I just want to continue to compete. You're going to cheat. Pay the pipe or go home. Are you going to pack your stuff? Good, go pack your He cheated everybody. It's just disgraceful. Jason. Technically, man, you're not stacking up. You're going to have to put these tattoos in as clean as you can to the end of this competition. I feel like I let myself down. That bugs the out of me. We know you from a previous season, yeah. and we've seen you go from highs to crashing. You look like you're on a downward slide again. I do not want to watch you go through another fallout. I don't want to watch me go through that either. Any one of you could be justifiably eliminated. However, there is a situation that we have to address. Josh. You violated multiple rules of this competition, and as you admitted, you've been in possession of contraband. I just want to do the competition, man. I didn't do it to cheat. I didn't do it to be unfair. I didn't realize that it was such a big deal. It's pretty clear cut. I up and I made a bad choice. I, I feel like an idiot. The contract that you signed when you entered this competition is very clear. This is a serious rules violation. If this means that I'm going home, then I made that choice. And that's part of being a man is standing up to your mistakes. It is grounds for immediate dismissal. Therefore, you are out of the competition. This is a major, major shot. It is what it is, it's your contract. That is something that's handled outside of our hands. I'm sorry you're leaving like this, but you did yourself. Today is the first time ever that the best tattoo of the day goes home. And that's your fault, Josh. Sorry. Josh, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I understand that I made poor choices, and I do not hide from my mistakes. I have shown that I do have what it takes to win this competition. And that's what pisses me off. In my mind, I am Ink Master.